What's going on guys, it's Kevin here with Mom My Mods and a quick how-to video. What we're gonna do today is take this Samsung Evo 960 SSD, the M.2 version, and we're going to marry it with this, uh, it's a Aqua computer, let me see if I can say this right, Wasser Q there for the Cryo M.2. That's what it says. Um, but we're gonna take it out of the box, take a look at it, we'll put these together, and then see how we can put it into your system. There's the block, all out of its uh, casing and everything like that. Um, comes with uh, everything that you need. It comes with the uh, thermal pad for the top and for the bottom if you order it as a kit. If you don't order it as a kit, it will come with one piece of thermal pad for the top of it, which goes obviously right in there. Um, what we'll do, we'll take this, uh, there's the PCB board, take the SSD out, packaging, and there it is. Man. These are getting so small, that's ridiculous. Anyway, so um, now what you do is uh, you check the directions to see what um, size thermal pad you need for the bottom here. Uh, for most of the Aqua computer stuff, it's 1.8 on the bottom, but you gotta check the manual. It'll tell you what it actually is. Um, so I'm gonna use the thermal pad that came out of the, uh, the box for that, and This side off first. I'm going to put that on the bottom of the SSD, like so. All right. And two things that you want to know is make sure that you, when you're putting the thermal pad down, that you don't accidentally uh, cover that hole because that hole obviously has to get a screw uh, through it on the top here. Um, so now that I have the, uh, the thermal paste on there like that, I'm going to peel the other side now. And I'm using my thumb to hold the thermal pad on there. There it goes. And then what I'm going to do is take, uh, take the SSD, take this, and just kind of lay it close to parallel with the board, as close as you can get it. And then you just give it a nice little push and that goes right in. As you can see, I, I made it. I didn't cover up the hole, which is good. Um, this kit, uh, because it was came separate, um, it comes with this particular bolt that um, will go in this hole here uh, to mount the SSD securely to the PCB board. So what I'm gonna do is just put that in there like that for now. Grab my handy dandy screwdriver and screw that in. All right, and then once it gets snug, you just make sure that it's uh, secure, which obviously with just a little turn, it'll be snug. So uh, there's the SSD mounted. It's got the thermal pad underneath it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's thermal pad underneath there. And now what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to look at this before I just slap it in there. Um, because potentially it will go in a computer like this. And so this will be mounted like this, right? Just like that. And easily enough, there's thermal paste and you can see that there's holes in the back here. It looks pretty self-explanatory. But obviously if you ever run into any sort of issues, always reference the manual. The manual will save you. It will tell you, even if it is partially in German and all sorts of other languages that you don't understand, it might have a language that you do understand. Um, for me it's English, but for some other people it might be German or French or Spanish or whatever it is. And uh, uh, that's great. I wish I could actually speak another language. That would be pretty cool. Um, so like I said, what we're gonna do, here it is. The water block is all set and good to go. Um, if you wanted to be really, really particular about it, you could clean uh, this water block with a little bit of um, 
uh, one and two AB cleaner, uh, uh, Arctic Silver AB cleaner. Um, if you if you absolutely felt that it was necessary, uh, I usually just wipe it off with a cloth, and it's usually fairly good to go. Um, another note is, as you can see on here where my finger is, which is kind of hard to see because of the light, um, there's a hole there. That's actually the hole for this screw on the top here. So when you're mounting this like that, it actually, the water block itself has a notch cut into it right there for the raised part of the screw right there. So it is important that, you know, part does actually make a difference on which direction it goes. Um, but it, again, it's pretty self-explanatory, but sometimes it can be a little confusing on which direction it goes or, or what side it may go on. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the thermal pad on the chip itself first. I know a lot of people, or not a lot of people, but the instructions, I think, say to put it on uh, the block first and then the chip. I'm actually going to double check that because I don't think that that's right. Yeah, it, it kind of shows that they're putting the thermal pad on the top part first and then sandwiching together. I, I'm not a fan of that. I'd rather um, put the, the thermal pad securely evenly in the correct space on the top of the chip so I know that the chip uh, is actually getting cooled you know the different parts of the memory is actually going to get cooled so now that, that is done use my, my thumbnail here get underneath there and hold it down with the other finger as we pull it off bam it came off the edge here a little bit which is okay just you know, it's okay to touch the stuff. It's not, it, as long as it's on there, it's going to do exactly what it's supposed to. So uh, like that, you know, it, it spread a little bit uh, over the, the end of the screw. So I'm just kind of pushing it down with my thumb a little bit. So it, it actually fits around there. But that looks pretty good. Thermal pad on top, thermal pad on bottom. What I'm going to do is get this screw and the notch in the block here lined up first and then kind of sandwich it together. So uh, let's see if I can do it this way for you. There you go. So I'm kind of putting it in at an angle like that and then, oops, if I can get it in there, there we go. Now sandwich it together. And then if you look on the back, all the holes line up and everything's good to go. So, um, I'm still gonna hold it. I'm holding it with a pretty firm grip like this just to get one or two of the screws started um, because if you set it down on the ground, um, the edge of the PCB or the, yeah, the edge here uh, where it goes into your PCIe slot, the bracket on the back here, uh, this bracket sits unevenly with the water block. So you can't actually uh, get the screws to go in correctly because it's got the, the water block is, is canted at an angle. Um, so the screws don't line up. Nice and snug. Now they don't have to be, you know, incredible Hulk tight, but they got to be snug. So you'll feel it once it, it gets to the bottom of the thread, and uh, that's as far as it needs to go. Boom, stop, give it just a little just to make sure that it's tight. And voila, there you go. All set and installed. That's good to go.